Another cake, another birthday. Taraloka Retreat Center celebrated its 10th anniversary in September with the opening of new facilities. In other Buddhist groups in the world, there, there isn't anything like Taraloka. It is Taraloka and Tiratnaloka are still the only two um, substantial women's retreat centers for women run by women. Uh, other Buddhist groups don't have those sorts of facilities. So it is still quite unique and um, even though I think in the West we tend to think of ourselves as women as being quite free and able to act and you know, take initiative and be pioneering, there aren't that many, there still aren't that many examples of that happening and uh, we're a place where women own their creative powers and really experience themselves taking full responsibility for their life and work. You know, doing many things traditionally left to men and just stepping into the unknown, a place where women would just have continually have that opportunity to autonomously um, create their own place and keep on just stepping into that unknown space. The feeling of Taraloka being a real role model, I think, for a sort of a spearhead of a spiritual vitality and a sort of powerhouse for spiritual vitality in the women's wing. The latest expression of Taraloka's spiritual vitality was the opening of the new barn conversion. The new wing provides additional bedrooms, study room and second shrine room. The bathroom has facilities for the disabled. Oh, isn't it wonderful? Oh, curtains! One end also provides a suite of rooms for solitary retreats with its own entrance. This new feature offers a comfortable and safe environment within the meditative atmosphere of Tara's realm.